Doctor Who Bridget and Damon Mrs. Brown's Boys Angela's Christmas Doctor Who Fairy Tale of New York The miniaturist travel man Victoria Christmas on telly can be a bit of a seasonal lurky dip. There's lots of heartwarming fare, but a great deal of tatty tinsel too. Here's our ultimate guide to help you sort the thrilling from the turgid. To some it is one of the greatest Irish songs ever or at least quasi-Irish, the Pogues being a predominantly London concern. Two others, Fairy Tale of New York is the equivalent of being trapped on the Nittelling next to a drunk who can't make up his mind whether to throw a punch or get sick in your lap. Either way, there is no questioning the endurance of the tune, which was a hit in 1987 and has since been covered by Ronan Keating A Crime Against God and Man and Ed Sheeran also A Crime Against God and Man. Thirty years on since Shane McGowan and Kirsty McCall first traded insults in a recording booth, Christy Moore, Amelda made Bob Geldof and actual pop star alert Paul Simon convened to warble its praises. M. R. James Ghost Writer Christmas Eve, BBC 4, 9 p.m. Because nothing says Christmas like being scared out of your wits, BBC's Arts Channel has devoted the entirety of Christmas Eve night to one of the masters of the ghost story. First is a new documentary about M. R. James, a chief architect of the modern ghost yarn, followed by Mark Gattis' 2013 adaptation of the author's spooktacular 1911 story The Tractate Midoth. Come midnight, you'll be praying those footsteps on the roof belong to Santa. Rubber-featured comedian Rowan Atkinson will be forever synonymous with Blackadder and Mr. Bean. But HES lately proved his chops as a straight man, playing iconic French detective May Gray in a succession of standalone specials. In his latest mystery, George Simonon's famous sleuth tries to prove the murders of a showgirl and a countess are related. Slow moving, intellectually engaging and with gorgeous period detail, it's the perfect Christmas distraction. Frank McCourt is best known for his fanciful tales of growing up in a cardboard box in Limerick. His only children's book, Angela's Christmas, was inspired by a story his mother would tell him as a child and is considerably less sobby and pandering than his adult output. Now it is brought to life by Dublin's brown bag film stock McStuffins, Octonauts etc. with narration, appropriately, by Limerick actress Ruth Negger. But why is it airing post-Watershed, when kids will be all tucked up for Santa remember when Top of the Pops was essential viewing for music fans? Thankfully, this one-off revival of the venerable pop review does more than pedal nostalgia, with thoroughly modern stars Ed Sheeran, Dua Lipa, Clean Bandit, Rita Ora and Dublin's The Script among the performers. Fern Cotton and Clara Ampho host. Another Christmas, another lavish adaptation of a book by Julia Idint, just write the Gruffalo Donaldson. David Tennant voices the eponymous rodent as he enjoys a life of banditry, with narration by Rob Brydon. A perfect post-Christmas dinner treat. Tears before Tardis time as fans say farewell to outgoing Time Lord Peter Capaldi. He meets the very first Doctor here played by David Bradley and is then introduced to the new manifestation of the character, Jodie Whittaker hated by fanboys because s-h-e-s a woman. Best ever Doctor Who, Tom Baker, also pops up waggling a festive sonic screwdriver. These one-offs can be a bit hit and miss and Doctor Who tends to take your adoration of its quirky streak as given. At the same time, Capaldi and Whitaker are both solid performers and it will be fun seeing them juxtaposed here. Snowbearer Stevens Day, BBC One, 6.30 p.m. The last time Kate Winslet had to share the screen with a block of ice, it was while letting Leonard DiCaprio freeze to death at the end of Titanic. Come on Kate, there was room up there for both of you. Here, Winslet musters her best David Attenborough impersonation to narrate a documentary chronicling a trek across the North Pole by a family over utterly cutesy though obviously in real life vicious and deadly polar bears. Prepare to have your heart melted.
Remember when Zhang Ham was all set to be the next George Clooney neither, it seems. Does the former Mad Men star, who nowadays passes his days appearing in shows such as this a rambling road trip in which he pairs up with comedian Richard Ioade, of IT crowd quasi-fame, for a trek to the Far East? The miniaturist Stevens Day, BBC One, 9p man adaptation of the cult Jesse Burton novel, with Anya Taylor Joy as an 18 year old marrying a megabucks merchant in 17th century Netherlands. More fun than it sounds, it doesn't sound like much fun. Alan Partridge returns to the BBC after a 15 year hiatus in 2018. Before that, this documentary traces the evolution of Steve Coogan's character, a send-up of British middle-class mores who feels even more relevant than ever in this era of Brexit, and a few turkeys to avoid. Wooden spoon reference tick. Box of USA biscuits tick. Did you leave the immersion on tick? Continue until crumpled in a heap swaying from side to side. The Great Christmas Bake Off Christmas Day, Channel 4, 7.40 p.m. Do you like watching boring middle-class types fuss over fruity flambers? No, you don't which is why you'll be avoiding this toweringly taste-free confection. Victoria Christmas Day, ITV, 9p It's hard to say what is worse about ITV's chronicling of the formative years of the 19th century monarch Jenna Coleman's listless performance as the eponymous Queen, or the comedy German accent Tom Hughes musters as her beloved consort Albert with ridiculous facial hair further undermining his performance. Mrs. Brown's Boys Christmas Special Christmas Day New Year's Day, RT1, 10 p.m. We live in a cruel, godless world where life has no meaning and only the void awaits. For proof, tune into Brendan O'Carroll's orgy of crimbo non-humor. If a benign entity is really looking over all creation, how could he allow such horrors to exist Irish independent?